Because of all of the Funko Fair videos I had to make, I'm a little bit behind on my unboxings, but I'm sure you guys aren't gonna be complaining. So, let's get started. All right, so for today, I have something very similar to yesterday's video where Grant sent me a bunch of stuff and I kind of compiled them together to make a good video. So let me just show off what I've got and then we'll start opening them up. The first thing I've got here is this. Now this is kind of a weird package. I know it looks a little bit nicer than a normal sorter box and that's because I paid an extra $3 to have like almost like gift wrap put on top of a Funko Pop. And you can actually do this with whichever Funko Pop you want off of the Funko Shop. So this right here, I don't know what's inside Side, so we're gonna be opening this last and then I've got these three boxes as well Which is two Funko Pops and then a U2. So I think let's get started with this one All right So this here it is actually from the Christmas stuff because this says pop and buddy frosty pop four And I'm pretty sure I know which one this is because there was only one pop and buddy from this drop But anyways, here we go guys three two one Ooh, okay, so it is, it is the Snoopy and Woodstock, and these ones are them in their Beagle Scouts, Beagle Scouts outfits. Now, as you guys probably know, I am a huge fan of Peanuts. I pretty much have watched every single show over the course of a bunch of years. I mean, whenever they're on, I like to watch them. So this right here is one that I definitely wanted to get, and this one's a really nice set of figures. I don't know, there's just something about these ones, and they also haven't made a Peanuts figure in a while. I think the last one before this would have been the Astronaut Snoopy, and they made two different versions of that one, one with a blue suit exclusive to F. FYE, or was it the other way around? There was one that was a convention exclusive and then maybe one that was exclusive to Barnes and Noble. Ugh, I don't know anymore. Anyways, whatever it is, I have one of them and I also wanted to get this one to go with my set. So here it is right there, guys. And I also really enjoy the tiny Woodstock because this is actually my first Woodstock. What had happened was when they first made the Peanuts wave, they actually made all of the ones on the back here. Well, actually I can see it up there. They made it so it was Charlie Linus, it was Lucy and Snoopy, so it was these four on the back there, and it was a smaller version of them, so I think they were like two inches instead of like that three to four inches, and they didn't give you Woodstock inside of that like special collector's box exclusive to Target. So I never did get a Woodstock, so I really wanted to grab this one right here. So anyways guys, that was the first one. Now let's get on to this one right here, which is a bit of a bigger figure, and this one I'm actually really excited about. This is also part of the 12 different Funko Pops that they dropped for Christmas. They were over the course of a couple days, and it wasn't like a big bunch this year so I'm kind of just opening them up randomly because that's how I ordered them so anyways let's get into this one right here and this one is again one of those ones that I should know because it's got a bit of a bigger box okay now here is the figure right here Ooh. okay so I can kind of see it through the wrapping here now let me actually take the tape off and see what this thing looks like actually I'll kind of pull it out and show you guys before I see it so here we go guys you ready three two one Ooh, okay, now this one, I'm gonna be honest, doesn't really make sense for a Christmas drop, but it's still a cool pop. And now for the Scooby-Doo art series, there was actually two different versions of the Scooby-Doo. So there was this one right here, and then also on the back of the box, you guys could see it, it is this one right there, which is a Scooby-Doo that kind of has the same pattern as the Mystery Machine. And this one does come in a hard protector, as well as a, well, a wrapping. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's take it out. <laughs> I don't know, I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna be mad at me that I am taking it off, but it's for the review, I wanna show it off, plus I'm not gonna be reselling this thing, so let's crack it open. I'll get that after. But I will say though, these art series figures are really starting to grow on me. It started with the Star Wars ones, of course, with the Futura drop, and now they're doing more and more, and I'm really starting to enjoy them. I did order a couple other ones. Um, what were they? Oh, shoot. Oh, it was the um, Nightmare Before Christmas ones. I have a couple of that one. I think I got the Jack Skellington. I think that might be the only one that I have, now that I think about it. I thought I had more of them. Anyways, they are making a lot more of them with a bunch of Mickey Mouse ones coming out very soon. And now they did make some Scooby-Doo ones, and I pretty much have every single Scooby-Doo Funko Pop. I'm missing very few, so I did want to get this one right here. But yeah, this thing looks great. So you guys can see on this one here, it's got a print that is kind of purple, and then it also has bats all around it. So that's why it doesn't really make sense for the Christmas drop, but it's still a really nice pop. And now with me saying that it doesn't really make sense for the Christmas drop, I do think it is cool that they're not making every single figure Christmas because not everybody celebrates Christmas. So it is cool that they are doing stuff like this and this one here, which don't really make sense for Christmas, but they are still fun figures and they do put them out for the Christmas 12 days drop because they are just putting up kind of like more figures than usual. So I guess that still is a gift towards us. Again, I'll get the lid later. 
Alright guys, so I guess we'll be opening up the U2s next. Now, I checked on the label here, and this one is addressed to Top Pops and not Tristan, so this one right here is actually coming in from one of you guys, and it's actually U2's photo on Instagram. He was nice enough to reach out to me and say that he wanted to send over a figure to me for Christmas. Now, of course, it is a little bit late. I, I know, the Postal Service has been pretty bad recently, but at least we still got the figure in, so let's crack it open and see which one he sent over. And also, from the way this package came in, it looks like he bought it right off of the U2's website, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so I see the side of the box so far and I can't tell who it is. It's very purple. Oh, I, I, th I think I know who this is. Hold on. Okay, so it looks like the front's on this side. So let me just slide it out here and see. Yes, it is. This here is, well, <laughs> Soft Willy. And now if you guys don't know who Soft Willy is, he has a meme Instagram account and he also does have a YouTube channel, which I do watch a lot. And it's actually really funny stuff. Now this here, it's just such a weird figure, but yeah, I really do enjoy this one. So if you guys want to see it, there is Soft Willy right there. And if you're wondering what the purple was, it is a giant, well, eggplant. All right, guys, now let's slide the sleeve off and see what the actual figure looks like. <laughs> this is... It's a funny one. Now I'm gonna try to read this in the most PG way possible. Okay, perks of having a small PP. Um, you know what, we're just, we're just not gonna read the back and then that's the pg -est we can get. <laughs> oh, well I guess we can read this one right there on the side. It says, that is so awesome. And then when we pop this open on the inside, it says, does it smell like farts in here? We can at least read that one. All right, guys, now let's actually check out the Soft Willy figure a little bit closer up. Now, this one is really funny. He's got his soft sweater on, and he also has his Timberlands on, and he's got his hand as the OK symbol. I think that is really, really funny. And then if you guys want to see the figure right there, well, <laughs> there he is. Oh, and also something kind of funny about Soft Willy right here. I have been seeing that people have been saying on different YouTube things, like Discord and Reddit and places like that, Instagram as well, that him and I are competing for the most active content creator on their social media medias and that was a little while ago so I don't know maybe I've passed him but soft willy I'm coming for your spot <laughs> and well anyways YouTube's photo thank you so much for sending this over as a late Christmas present I wish we got this in earlier but at least it came in and we still can open it up on the channel and also I don't know why I didn't buy soft willy earlier because it really is a great figure all right guys now you know what time it is it is time to get inside of this Funko present this is the first time I've ever opened up one of them like this on the channel and I don't know if I'm gonna do this more often where I buy the gift wrapping, but I did think it was kind of fun just to buy it once so I could show you guys what it actually looks like and if you wanted to buy this for somebody as a gift. Because honestly, this is only one Funko Pop inside of here, but it feels a little more special when you get it inside of this box right here. All right guys, so let's actually take this off and see which figure I bought because honestly, I ordered a lot of them and I just threw a random one inside of the gift wrapping, so I'm not sure which one it is like usual. And now guys, as soon as we take this off and we open it up, we can see, wow, okay, I am definitely keeping this box right here, but it's got an even nicer Funko box on the inside. So maybe you would want to take it out of the cardboard box and just give the person this one here, because this does look a little bit cooler than that one there, but I don't know, they're both nice. All right, now we're actually going to slide this thing off and let's see which one I bought with the gift box, because I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, I was looking for this figure. Okay, so I bought the Minnie Mouse Gingerbread Funko Pop. Now, I was kind of expecting it to be something like this because I couldn't find the Minnie Mouse inside of any of the packages that Grant had shipped over. So this one was kind of expected. But if you guys don't know what this figure is right here, this is actually a really nice one. Funko decided this year for the 12 Days of Christmas actual Funko Pops, they were going to make gingerbread versions of Mickey and Minnie. And just because I thought this was gonna be Minnie, I also brought the Mickey one. But now before I show up these figures any closer, I do want to show you guys what the gift box looks like on the inside if you guys were thinking of getting one of these. So it is kind of uh, hollow. It's not thick all the way through, but you guys can see it is pretty nice. And if you do take it out, you can also put the figure back in and reuse these as many times as you want. And it fits one pretty much perfect. Well, I mean, they're made for Funko Pops. So of course, they're going to fit them perfectly, but you know what I mean. And since we're opening up the Minnie Mouse one, I might as well open up the Mickey as well. And I'm glad that I did bring this just in case it was the mini inside and 
uh, here is the Mickey right here. Very similar to the Mini, but they are, they are still different. I mean, of course, one's Mickey, one's Mini. Now let's actually pop these two out of the box so we can see them a little bit closer up because I kind of want to see the details on these figures. And also something kind of weird about these figures is that they are flatter than a normal Funko Pop, but thicker than a normal gingerbread cookie, as you guys can see right here. And now just looking at the Mickey here, I really do like the detail on these. And also, this is interesting. They put like a little bit of icing on the candy cane there to look like they actually stuck it on and it isn't just kind of like the gingerbread character or Mickey, the gin whatever, you know, is holding the candy cane. They made it look like it was just stuck on top. And I think if you were to put this on like a cookie sheet or something, this actually does look like a gingerbread cookie with just like a Mickey Mouse print on the top of it. And this is just, I don't know, Funko killed it with these ones and I really wanted to get both of them because of that. And now because that's the Mickey, let's check out the Minnie and see what she looks like. Now this one here is like I said, very similar because they both have the hats on. So the only thing you can really tell here is that she has a stocking instead of a candy cane. And then she also has the eyelashes on her eyes, of course. Uh, but anyways, there's the difference between the two of them. They're very similar, but still worth it to buy both. And honestly, I'm kind of hoping that Funko makes more pops like this because I do know recently that they did make the Candyland game piece and it's actually pretty thin as well. I know it's kind of the same thickness as this and it's a lot thicker than a normal game piece, but it is like this where they kind of flatten the head to make it look more realistic. And well guys, that is all of the stuff that we're gonna be opening up today. But before we go, oh, hold on. I forgot you two's time. <sighs> Rewind again. Um, all right, guys, let's pretend like this never happened. And uh, hey, we got a YouTube's, which means it is YouTube's time. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> All right, guys, now before we get out of here, let's spin the wheel. Now, just for fun, I kind of want to guess what it's going to land on. So before we spin this thing, I'm going to say random. I'm going to go random today. WWE. Let me get one. Oh, and I also wanted to mention U2's photo, the one who sent over the soft willy, has been really wanting me to spin and get WWE, so this one's for you. All right, guys, now this wrestling figure that I chose is one that I've had in my collection for as long as I can remember. So I chose the WWE's The Rock. Now this one is a really nice figure and one that I've had since, probably since it came out back in, well, actually I haven't been collecting since 2013, but I've had it since like the beginning of my collection. And this one right here is really nice because it really does look like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He's even got the eyebrow raised on the one side. And if you guys look on the back here, it comes with some really classic ones in this wave. We've got John Cena, CM Punk, The Rock, Sheamus, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Rey Mysterio. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Ops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a school. On a four with school. Baby gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. B five four thump. I'm a hump on a bounce. Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with. And she calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Let my legs.